Hey friends, tonight we are at SeaWorld Orlando for the first ever Hollow Scream Orlando. Normally Hollow Scream is down at Busch Gardens, but this being the same company that decided to bring it up here to Orlando for the first time this year, and I am so excited to show you. Anywho's, let's go do this. SeaWorld invited us out today to actually show you all the amazing scare zones and haunted houses. It looks like they've got four different scare zones, four houses, and two shows. And we're actually going to be able to film inside the houses and the scare zones and hopefully the shows. So this is going to be a fun, interesting evening. Warning though, event contains intense adult content such as violence, gore, and blood. So just giving you guys a little warning there. Along with the four different houses and four scare zones, they have four differently themed bars and we're gonna check them all out. And we're actually in the first one right now and I'm loving it. This is Siren's Last Call, the first themed bar, and the event hasn't started yet, so we're gonna stay in here, and we're gonna get some drinks and hang out, and look, they even have performers in the themed bar areas, and I think that's something unique, and a little bit different than any of the other places. Here is a look at some of the drinks they're offering at Siren's Last Call. They have a Siren's Kiss, a Paranormal Potion, and a Pumpkin Smash. Oh, the Pumpkin Smash sounds very, very good. They also have a Freaky Fanta, which I just like the name. A little Freaky Fanta and a Pumpkin Smash? Another thing that I'm super excited about is I'm going to be partaking in what they call the scare cam where they're going to actually hook up a camera to me POV and you're going to see my reaction as I'm walking through the house. This is something I've never done before and I've always wanted to do it and tonight's going to be the night so I'm glad I got my pumpkin smash. Give me a little bit of courage. Ooh, and a raindrop just fell in it. Oh, I wonder if you got that on video. That would have been funny. Anywho, let's try it. Oh, that's good. Oh wow, that is really, really, really good. Shots! I think we have three different flavors. We have orange rum, cherry vodka, and lime tequila. What would y'all like? Um, orange rum. Orange cherry, rum. Please. Yes, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I guess, I mean, she's yelling at shot time, so here we are. Cheers, everyone. This is becoming such a fun event already. I legitimately just got scared standing by a trash can. <laughs> hey, the cheap seats are up there. Ooh. Now it's the first house of the night, and we are heading on in to do our scare cam, where it's gonna be like a camera hooked up to me, and I'm excited. I mean, this is gonna be so much fun. I've always wanted to do one of these, so you're gonna see my reaction as I'm walking through the house for the first time, the first house of the night. We're about to get strapped up with the uh, camera, and this is the first house, like I said, and it's Water's Edge Inn. And I'm excited, I'm excited to actually try out the camera and see what it's like. Oh, oh Are you loaded up there? I'm loading up here. All right. I am excited, look at this. <laughs> I got a nice little camera rig on me. We gotta go through. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, oh boy. Ah! <laughs> the stone is mine! Did you find it? I found it. I found it. <laughs> I love it! Bring the snow! Mr. <laughs> Moore, please! There's the snow! I don't want to get the snow! Oh, oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
so awesome. I love that house and I can't wait to see the footage. Hopefully I'll get it in time to put it in this video, but if not, we're gonna keep going through the houses and we're allowed to record in them. So we're gonna be able to show you, not just me POV, but also the walkthrough of the house. And we still have three more houses, four scare zones and four themed bars. Well, three themed bars because we already went to one. And uh, yeah, the night is just beginning. We started right here, so we're gonna actually make our way to the second house and the third and the fourth, and then everything in the red is the paths for the scare zones and the different shows. It covers the whole entire park, and I'm just, like I said, I am excited. More and more scare actors are coming out, and we're gonna be able to walk through them, and they are intense. Like, they're flying over, and they're getting right up in your face. I really like it, and this one's pole dancing. Another cool thing to point out, if you don't wanna be scared, you can purchase a no boo necklace and it lets the monsters know not to scare you. And then you can also get a bunch of other merchandise because they have shop of horrors all around. And I like how they have everything themed. That is the coolest thing I think so far. I ran into a friend, Jackie, super enthused. Happy hollow scream. Happy hollow scream. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. I've already drank my pumpkin smash. I ate my straw. Oh, we're, we're, we're starting off the we're night We're starting straw. off good. <laughs> starting off our night straw. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're coming up on our first scare zone of the night. And this is going to be exciting. Oh, I like the sounds already. <laughs> Ooh. Well, this one kind of getting attached. <laughs> now I think it's time we hop into our next house and this is going to be one of the most anticipated houses for me because it is an ice house. So that means it's gonna be very cold in there. Right here, beneath the ice, terror at base camp Ura. This is gonna be good. And we got a fear pass, so we're gonna be able to just go in without waiting. And I love everything out here. It's really well themed. Once we get out of this house, they have one of the scary bars on this side that we're gonna be able to check out. And there's an option where you can pay to scare somebody in the house that we're about to go to. How cool is that? I've never seen that done before. Maybe I'm just not really well versed, but I think that's a great idea. So as we are going through this house right now, people are gonna be paying to scare us. Looks like you get four scares for $5. I'm excited. I don't know how they're gonna scare me. Are they gonna scare me in there from there? Maybe. <laughs> So those people that were in line are paying to scare me right now, and I'm excited to see what they do.
wasn't really scared. Hey, now! <laughs> That house was a lot of fun. I loved it and it was super cold in there because of the AC and a lot of scares, like jump scares. And I wonder if that's what you pay to do because they got me a couple good times in there. Like I, I naturally did get scared. Well, it's not that I get scared. I feel like I get in uh, scare mode, I get caught off guard. And my reaction is always to laugh. I don't get scared or scream, but I just start laughing. I don't know if you guys have noticed that already. So now we wanna go into that bar area and check it out. And it did rain today, so I'm feeling a little foggy on the glasses. Uh, definitely showing up there a little bit. Oh yeah, I like the lighting as well. <laughs> now we're gonna head on into our next themed bar, the Glacier Bar, which is here all year round. But it's a little bit scary here. Look at these guys. And the bartenders are dressed in, like Vikings or scary Vikings, maybe dead Vikings, I don't know. And then back there is the scare button, which we are definitely gonna do. I mean, I really wanna scare somebody. So you can see there's a camera on the inside of the house there that we were just walking through. And I hit this button whenever I see someone coming walking around the corner and it scares them like this guy. Ready? It did nothing. Oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. Nothing. I'm too late. I have to hit it before they break right there. All right, right here. Ready? Here we go. I got it. I got it. <laughs> One more. Here we go. Boom. Yeah. I did good. I did good, I think. <laughs> Now that we got our scares in, and that was really, really fun. I highly recommend doing it because I actually might want to come back and spend time here. I feel like it could be addicting like a slot machine though. Because you know what I mean? You want to scare people. I wish I could be a scare actor. I think any who's, I think I'm going to grab a drink at the uh, Tormented Glacier Bar and maybe switch things up and go for a nice uh, pumpkin beer. Oh, that's the way. And we ran into Vincent. Vincent Vision. Woo! Hey, hello. <laughs> I finished my drink already. Oh, it's okay though. The show is starting now, so we're gonna be able to watch the show for the first time tonight. Look at it. They got a nice little stage and it's not in a theater or anything. It's kind of just hanging out right here in the middle of everybody and I like it. We got ourselves a good spot, and I think this show is uh, Siren Song. So this is gonna be interesting right here. floor and devour all aboard and it wasn't our calls that brought them to ruin it was their screams that drew us in we ate gorged ourselves on the weakness of men and then we slept from every corner of this sea world we have come to reclaim that which is ours
that was a really really cool show and I like how they had it going all the way around us so like there was definitely no special spot to be it kind of just happened everywhere it happened in the middle they had the different uh, stages with the sisters I really like that show but now we're gonna move along we we'll go through some more scare zones and uh, we still have two more houses to go to and two more themed bars so I'm excited like this is this is becoming a really amazing night Please don't go this, this way. No, yeah. No, please don't go this way. There are werewolves out there. Oh, werewolves. Oh, <laughs> Come on. I love werewolves. Ooh. Everybody run. Get out. We're going into Deadly Ambush, which is another scare zone right after the show here. Please don't go. Please, I'm begging. Turn back, turn back, turn back. <laughs> this is good. I think at the end there we ended up going through deadly ambush and then before that it was like the mer people so they were like sea creatures and then we went into werewolves either way I liked it a lot it was a little bit dark over there but that makes it more like scary you know what I mean and I think we're going into another scare zone now because I see like a, a bayou setting and kind of like a Dr. Facilier actually going around scaring people so I think this is like a a, a different scare zone I would assume now I think we're coming up on the next house right next to Sesame Street land and it's Captain's Revenge. It's kind of funny because, you know, can you tell me how to get, how to get to Captain's Revenge? I would like that. <laughs> oh, wow. This is looking like the best, uh, like, uh, opening, like, area that you walk into. Like, the best facade, I would say, so far. Now we're going in. I'm excited. to say I got scared in Captain's Revenge they got me really good in there I, it's the jump scares but yeah I didn't laugh that time I literally went ha huh! so uh, kudos to them and Captain's Revenge and I also like how they were singing Pirates of the Caribbean 
I thought that was really cool. Overall, I don't know how to say which one's my favorite night, like my favorite house of the night. I guess maybe we'll figure that out later, like later on in the video. Now we're gonna actually head back through another scare zone. This is Witch's Bayou, and this is the one before I seen that like had a Dr. Facilier person. Right there he is, I see him. There he is. Do you have friends on the other side? <laughs> Jackie's getting all the attention. <laughs> oh, there you go! <laughs> I've got friends on the other side. Sisters. Sisters. <laughs> Now we are actually heading into another themed bar area. This is the Poison Grotto. And it looks like they have some aerial performances happening up there. I can see it from the outside and I'm pumped. Do you see it? Yeah. Like right in the middle of the bar. Wow. Oh, that is cool. Oh! So the Poison Grotto. Pick your poison, huh? Wisely, good sir. <laughs> I heard these drinks are to die. <laughs> this is really something else right here. I like how they have the safety net just in case though. Because that'd be pretty scary if she just dropped down right now. Now, the last bar when I was at Tormented, I didn't get the drink for that area. I got the pumpkin beer, but now here we are at Poison Grotto, and I'm going to get the Poison Apple, Crown Apple Whiskey, Salted Caramel, and Ginger Ale. I love Ginger Ale. I do like Ginger Ale. Do you like Ginger Ale? Ginger Ale is very refreshing. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I have to say, nothing is going to beat the Pumpkin Smash. That is such an amazing drink, but I'll be back, but in the meantime, I want to try all the new drinks as we're at each location. These ones come with little fangs, yes. vampire fangs. That is so cool. Cheers. Cheers. I love it. <laughs> oh, some more ghouls coming out to socialize. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. After drinking this drink, I still have to say the pumpkin smash is my favorite. But if you do like candy apple or vampire fangs, then this is the way to go. I love the fact that they're actually scaring guests inside the bars and the different themed areas. That is really awesome. We all ended up getting the scary uh, poison apple, or is it the poison kiss? Oh, no. <laughs> drinking, the drink. drinking the drinks. After drinking our drinks in here, I think we're gonna actually head to Dead Minds, which is the last house. And then there's one more show and another scare zone. I know sometimes things get a little mixed up and I try to keep the narrative uh, exactly which way we're gonna go. But you know, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow of things and Dead Minds is uh, the next thing on the flow. And here it is. Dead Vines, the last house of the night, but not the last scare zone or uh, themed bar. We still got uh, one more scare zone, one themed bar, and one more uh, show, I believe. This is obviously the longest line that we've seen all night long. I don't know if that's because we got here super early, but I mean, this is going all the way back and they don't have any posted wait times. So I highly suggest getting the uh, front line of fear because like right now, this definitely comes in handy.
because one scare actor in particular came up and he whispered in my ear and he said, I've been trying to reach you about your extended car warranty and I lost it. Honestly, probably the most cleverest thing I think I've ever seen. So at the end of the video, I think we're actually gonna break it down and maybe we'll do the houses one more time because I really wanna give you my favorite house of the night and maybe give you a list. There's only four of them, so it's just my top four, you know? But this is what we're making our way into. Monster Stomp, Slasher Alley. And it's an indoor event too, so I'm excited to see what this is all about. Victims found, mutilated. That's a little graphic, oh wow. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna like this a lot. I really, really do love the production value on the stage here. I mean, this is really nice. And the backdrop there. And we got front row. Fancy seating right here.
just an amazing show. Really, I love the music, I love the dancing, I love the acting. So, so cool. What a great performance. And the show that they had prior that was kind of just like out in like a scare zone, that was really good as well. Overall, I'm like super impressed with SeaWorld and their hollow scream. We still have one more theme bar and another scare zone, I believe so. And also, you can ride Mako at night. Like that is included in your uh, pass and there are no lines to ride any of these rides. Most of the rides are up and running. Like I seen Infinity Falls was running too. And there's no wait, like nobody, everyone's doing the, the houses. So it's a good deal if you ever want to come to SeaWorld as well. <laughs> We have to make our way into the next scare zone, which is over here by Mako and Reef's Treasures. And it's basically, I think, pirates. I can see all of the fog. Oh, I see a, I see a tall man. I see a tall man on stilts. Oh. I like that snake. <laughs> you look familiar for some reason. Oh, well, thank you. Fancy. <laughs> oh, on the pirate show. I like it. <laughs> oh, on the pirate ship. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Very fancy. Hello to you, right, mate. Oh. Keep going down here. Oh, okay. You're welcome to have you. All right. We're going to keep strolling along here. Don't mind if I do. Hello. Whoa. That was a setup. Here is the last bar, the Longshoreman Tavern. And this looks good, a fun atmosphere, I say. Wow, it's got some bartenders here, a nice themed area. Place I definitely want to be. <laughs> how are you? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, very well, very well. Welcome to Longshoreman's Tavern. Hello, oh, nice. Yeah. Are you the longshoreman? What's that? Are you the longshoreman? I'm a longshoreman. You're a longshoreman. Yes. Oh, I like it. I'm, I'm Chester. Chester. And that's Sylvester down there. Sylvester. Sylvester him, that's Lester. I'm Lester. Lester. This is Esther here, close Esther. to Esther. Yeah, and that's the boss. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah. Who um, are you? Uh, Nate. Hi, Nate. Yeah, Hi, Nate. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, Nate, you know where you're at? Where am I at? The longshoreman's tavern. Oh yeah, he just said that. I did know that. Well, I could tell you're the boss. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Who's the boss? He's the boss. Well, Tony Dan's is the boss. Tony Dan's is the boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to knock Nate. So, oh, don't knock Nate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here's what I want to say. Look at this. We brought a couple together. <laughs> did we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They were already together. No, no, we brought a couple together. Oh, you know. The specialty drink for this bar is the candy corn old fashioned, which actually sounds pretty decent. I think I might do it, but I was such a fan of the pumpkin smash, I kind of don't want to not get it again. I tried almost all the other drinks, so I think I might as well just go all in and do a little candy corn old fashioned. Uh oh. He's okay. Morning candy corn. Oh. Well, I'm game for this. Yeah, you just gotta talk to it real pretty. Oh, I will. I'll whisper. <laughs> I'm a little hesitant with this one. A candy corn old fashioned. And I think every drink has a gummy worm in it. That's why I'm fishing for gummy worms. I'm excited to try it though. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a. Oh yeah. Oh, it's not bad. I do like it. Ooh. They're singing. Okay, I have to say the pumpkin smash 
is my favorite drink though. Out of all the drinks we had tonight, pumpkin smash all the way. This is fairly good, but nothing beats my pumpkin. And I guess that is gonna do it for me tonight. I had so much fun being here at Hollow Scream. Hello. <laughs> And I guess with that, we are gonna call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Honestly, I think my favorite house was the Arctic house. It was a lot of fun. My favorite uh, scare zone. Uh, that's a tough one. I did like the Bayou, but I also like the Witches. Well, I think they were the same one, actually. The Witches Bayou was probably my favorite one. And uh, the Pumpkin Smash all the way for the drink. Even though uh, this Hollow Scream has been around for a while, it being in Orlando for the first time, I think they did a great, great job. And I'm excited to keep on coming back now for the upcoming years. I hope they keep going and growing and getting better. Four houses, five houses, and eventually much more. And maybe as big as Halloween Horror Nights. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!